All right, welcome to Power Talk Tuesday. Excited to be here with some of my good friends, Melford and Conchetta Bibbins. Um, as you know, each Tuesday we kind of dive into another topic related to mindset, skill set, strategy uh, with building your doTERRA business. This week, I wanted to have Melford and Conchetta on, not, not just because of the success that they've had recently and, and for the last little while, but we're going to be talking about a topic that I believe is really, really important, and that is how and why health entrepreneurs, so health coaches, yoga teachers, chiropractors, massage therapists, personal trainers, MDs even, um, why health entrepreneurs are integrating doTERRA, how it's helping them, really, because remember, as a health entrepreneur, your number one is serving people, right? You want to serve your clients better, deliver better results, but at the same time, there's only one of you, and so you want to work smarter. Um, you want to have more free time. You don't want to like sacrifice everything. So how doTERRA is helping health entrepreneurs work smarter. And then um, probably as important as not, the most important and that is, is earn more, right? Being able to build an income that grows, whether you're on a mission trip, whether you're serving. And so anyway, there's not two better people on the planet uh, to be able to join me and talk about this topic. And, uh, and so let's jump into it here. First of all, just a real quick introduction. We, it looks like we have, a, we have somebody who wants to be on camera with us. <laughs> it sounds like we got one of the doggies. Yes. Uh, <laughs> they got locked outside. <laughs> yeah. So, so Melford and Conchetta, you guys are both originally from the Northeast. Like most people in the Northeast have migrated your way down to Florida, yes. <laughs> right? But you guys have an amazing, really diverse background in hospitality running gyms, uh, jujitsu, massage therapy, I mean, all of these things. So nobody better to talk about this. And recently, um, you guys have uh, achieved the rank of Blue Diamond in doTERRA. For those of you who don't know what that means, basically it means that they have been working on developing not only leadership, reaching out and empowering people, um, serving people in a really big way, and have reached this place where their income through doTERRA you know, is reaching, usually it ranges anywhere from about, um, you know, around $20,000 upwards to $30,000 as you get more into it. So it's a substantial accomplishment. Congratulations, you guys. Thanks. Super Thanks. excited to have you guys on here. I'll, I'll shut up and kind of let you do a little intro and your background and kind of what your perspective is on this topic. So guys, again, uh, my name is Melford Bibbins. This is my wife, Conchetta, and uh, we're originally from the Northeast, as Kyle said. I grew up in Connecticut, and uh, Conchetta grew up born in New York City, but grew up in uh, New York. And we used to own a big 10 fitness center and day spot there, and sort of with medical professionals. And it was because and they were literally writing prescriptions for their patients to come and either train with us or do something in the spa or take one of Conchetta's classes. So we were, um, you know, when we were really just getting started in the health and fitness industry, we were able to get really great relationships started with doctors. So we kind of learned how to talk to them. You know, we learned how to speak with medical professionals, not only the referring doctors, but also our own employees because we hired massage therapists. You know, we had an in-house acupuncturist. We had, um, <laughs> excuse me, we had Reiki, we had, I mean, you name it, we had it in our facility. So we were, we were able to kind of see both sides. We were both referred clients by doctors, but we also employed other medical professionals. So we really got to see sort of, um, you know, both sides of the equation. We'll let Simon see stuff scratching. Good. I got it. I got it. Oh. Hi, bud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, this is real life. This is not like a, no, no, yeah, it's the right show. Idea. Yeah, uh, I'm not, you, you're having kids come in, I'm, or dogs come in, I might have a few kids come in, it's all good. That's it, it's all good, right? So yeah, Kyle, that was where you know, we really made a connection with the medical community, and we loved working with the medical community right from that onset of having our fitness center and day spa. <laughs> and so you know, with having that kind of background in health coaching and just being able to help people to reach optimal health, and that's what I love you know, when we came back into doTERRA, um, many years after we got rid of our facility there, we're able to do this again. We're really able to reach out and um, uh, reach out to our local community um, medical professionals here and invite them into the doTERRA, doTERRA journey 
And what we're finding is, you know, they're really, really um, intrigued with it because I know when we started this journey about four years ago, there was about 30 to 35 percent of individuals walking into facilities asking for natural choices. And right. now, four years later, that demand is only increasing. And it's now up to about 71, 73%. And so the medical community is, is, is really kind of excited to be able to offer that holistic choice to, to their clients now at this point in time. Um, so we're finding it to be, you know, a matter of just connecting properly with each medical professional in a way that, you know, we can go in with a vision for their facility um, understanding the services that they have and being able to create that vision within themselves as to how they can help their clients. Because let's face it, health entrepreneurs are, are healers. They're healers at heart. That's what they do. They serve to heal and to really help people to reach optimal health. But the business background of things, systems, organization in that fashion, trying to incorporate um, something like doTERRA as a vehicle into their facility might be a little complicated, right? So we, we really have created systems to really simplify that process for them because their hearts are all in the right places. They want what's best for their clients. Um, there's so much great information and research out there on the doTERRA essential oils that it's easy for them to welcome them into their facilities as long as they're you know, satisfied with you know the, the answers that they need. And right. so spending that time with them and really creating that right connection with each medical facility, um, whether it's a yoga studio and creating you know, the flows with the essential oils um, and touching their clients that way and then giving the full on education on what moms can do to take care of their families from home um, from a deeper perspective after class is done and over with, right? So um, right down to the regular MDs who are very intrigued with having a holistic choice for their clients at this point in time and just working you know with small systems to begin with to get them comfortable and 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 to get them acquainted with the oils and what's possible with the oils um, and then creating you know really um, a system based on what it is that they want to do how they choose to come into using doTERRA, doTERRA in their facility because it's different for each medical professional right. you know where they want to go deeply they want to touch their client base with it and really just listening to the vision of each doctor each entrepreneur that we bring in to understand what it is um, that we can do to help create optimal health within their facilities with them I love that. I love that. And, and I want, so I want to kind of talk about from a, from a real quickly, just kind of talk about some of the challenges that health entrepreneurs have. Right. And, and, you know, one of those is that, like you said, Conchetta, they're healers at heart, right? Their, their clients are the most important. And then they get themselves though stuck in this situation where they're working so much they're working so hard. I mean, we, we, you know, we, uh, we get to work with, uh, you know, Dr. Mark DeBrinkett and we know we've heard from him that there's so many chiropractors that are work that are burning themselves out. Right. Mm -hmm. And so many health professionals that they love what they do. That's why they got into it, but they're working 70, 80 hours a week. And if they stop working there, so does their income. Yes. And so they have this desire to find something or maybe they don't, I think many, maybe a lot of them don't even know of something that, that exists actually Bingo. That, they could, that they could actually plug in. Have you guys, have you guys seen that? Like how have you had that conversation with some of both the health coaches, yoga teachers, doctors that you guys have spoken to? Just helping them to see that it's such a natural fit. You know, it's, it's really just taking it uh, to a deeper level with their clients and in, in, in a diff, deep, different fashion that they're familiar with, you know, especially conventional um, MDs who know, you know, old tradition and old schooling and, and how to care for their families from home and really help them to, um, I guess, answer their questions as far as the research and, um, and, and the compatibility of what they're trying to achieve with their clients and how it matches up. So with such great synergy to create optimal health within their clients, because at the end of the day, that's really all they want. They want to right. achieve optimal health within their clients. 
So as simply as putting it into a massage therapy treatment, right? Maybe a chiropractor and, and a massage therapist that work together hand in hand and um, showing them the different systems that we can incorporate into the services that they're already doing with take-home packages so that it that the, the client, when they go home, they have the home maintenance part of what the doctor is trying to create um, within the facilities and just matching that up for each you know client um, depending on what services each doctor has to offer. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, Maybe totally. Long-winded yeah. way of saying it, but... The yeah. initial conversation with a doctor is going to be very similar to the initial conversation with anybody. There is no blanket, perfect way to present doTERRA to anybody. I don't care if it's a mom you're talking to over their table or the head of a hospital in New York City. It always comes down to the individual needs and desires that that doctor has to get his patients to, her patients to, whether it's a doctor, whether it's a massage therapist. You know, a massage therapist in one part of town could have a completely different protocol than a massage therapist on the other side of town just because more old folks live in one side of town, more athletes live on another side of town. You know, there, there's, such a, there's such a differential between what everybody does in the health industry that you really need to individualize. And it's so funny because everybody always wants to know, you know, what's the secret to signing up doctors? You know, the two secrets are listen to them, mm -hmm. drill down to exactly what their patient's needs are, and give them a strategy for success. And it's kind of funny, what's the same thing you would do with any builder that walked up to you? You would find out what the needs are for their family to make sure you're getting the right oils, and you would give them a strategic way to find success. It's literally the same exact thing. Obviously, it's way more involved with a doctor's office, but it's the same path. You need to sit down, you need to have a postured conversation with that doctor or medical professional or massage therapist or health coach or whomever they are, you need to have a concentrated conversation about what their goals are for their clients and how you can help them get there without adding additional work. Right. That's I think important. that's the key, right? That's like without, without them, like, and I always say, you know, work smarter, earn more, do more of what you love. Um, right. And so what, what would you say are some of the questions? Because, you know, as we have health professionals that watch this Zoom later, what are some of the, the health, the, the questions that they have that maybe have stopped them from looking further? Maybe they've had like a client talk to them about doTERRA before, but they just really haven't given it, you know, the attention. What, what are the questions that you guys feel like you have that, that need to be answered that are really critical for a health coach, for yoga teachers, for even doctors. It's funny because you raise a perfect point. It's something that we actually just went through not too long ago up in St. Pete. Uh, we live in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, St. Pete's about an hour north of us, and we've started uh, knocking on doors. I mean, there you go, guys. As Blue Diamonds, we still knock on doors. So, <laughs> All the time. So, so get that whole managerial <laughs> crap out of your mindset. Knock on doors. Enroll people. I don't care if you're quadruple chocolate-covered presidential diamond. Keep enrolling. So anyways. Um, so we started spending a lot of time in St. Pete, and what we came to realize was when we had first started in doTERRA, and we weren't really, you know, going out and, and doing our thing, um, somebody went through St. Pete, and they didn't do a good job setting up systems. So I'm not trying to, you know, avoid your, you know, distinct question thing, yeah, but yeah. every question came up because they didn't set up the system. They, they failed on one of the two phases. You know, they walked in, and they said enough good things that they actually got an enrollment, but they didn't do anything to keep the doctor or the medical professional, whomever, to want to keep their enrollment going. They didn't set up the systems. So it brings, it's not even that we're having to answer specific questions, it's now we've got to go over the slope yet again. So they, they now know that the oils work, but they believe that there's no business system around it. So that's the thing, guys. Before you start knocking on doors, before you start doing this stuff, really make sure you whittle down your system. Make sure that you're making it as easy as humanly possible for the doctor to do this. Or the Again, I'm just saying doctoring is easy, but the medical professional will do this because the first and foremost question is going to be, it's, it's not a question, it's a statement. I don't have time for this. Exactly. That's what you're going to hear over and over and over and over again. I don't have time for this. And that's your time to go, but wait, you do because we did X, Y, and Z for you. Here it is. That's what we do. And then that second visit in, Kyle, is just about that. Tell me what it is that you would want to achieve. How do you want to touch your clients with this? You know, what are you feeling? You, how do you feel we can fill in some gaps for you? Are you looking to create a health strategy for yourself so that when you're, you know, when your body is tired of adjusting people or when you just, you know, you feel like you're ready for retirement, do you want to stay doing something that's in the health arena 
that you can begin now and create an exit strategy for yourself to be able to still live the lifestyle that you're doing later on um, by, you know, now increasing your bottom line as you're helping your clients reach optimal health. And so really creating the vision, um, including the science and, and, and all of that, that, you know, that we have that we offer to them, um, but setting up the protocols and simplifying everything from the time you walk in the door. So that second visit is just really getting an understanding of what they want to do within their facility. And then the next visit in is showing up with the solution to everything and handing it right over to them so that they, they take a look through and say, okay, you know, I can do this. And, and, you know, for some doctors, it, you know, it may be supplying more research for the protocols that they want to put together or start off with. Um, for some of the Medi spas, it's, you know, they may start off with having it in their um, massage therapy uh, side of things. And, and then maybe we do some training with their estheticians next. So they might do phases of how they incorporate it into their facility. Um, they may not open it up broadwise to everybody in there, but they might they might touch rooms, you know, or services that they have with it, and then just getting the training in for those specific um, uh, entities. So we we'll start with massage therapists, and then we'll work over it, and we'll figure out what's the best way for the estheticians to incorporate this in, and you know, even medi spas that have salons. I mean, that's a great matchup as well, um, and there's way that you can create a system for all of that. Uh, yoga studios, it's the same thing. It really is about just listening to them, hearing out how they would like to, you know, be able to catch their clients with this because at the end of the day, the one thing that stays consistent is the doctor takes the kit home. He uses it first. He falls in love with it for himself, for their family. The, the acupuncturist, the massage therapist, they begin no differently than we do. That is the starting point. Because if they don't, if they don't feel the effects and they don't have that belief instilled within them, yeah. then they can speak from a point of passion, you know, in their healing on that. And so right. it really is just taking it back to grassroots and touching their family first and, and making sure that they're satisfied and that we have all of the right answers for them to take care of their families first. And then from there we go right into, well, now, you know, how about opening the door to touching the clients that you've been, you know, working with to create optimal health with this as well. Yeah. And by the time they've been satisfied, you know, it's a no brainer for them. It's like, okay, well, how do we do this? Yeah. And, 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 you know, there it's just having those deeper conversations with them. Honestly, there's been times we've gone in and we've had a half hour appointment with doctors and literally, they've made their patients wait outside. We've sat for two, three, and four hours talking to them because they don't want to stop, you know? <laughs> it's, it's, exciting. it's exciting to have another tool, another option of the vehicle. And because doTERRA's quality and potency and the research and everything that they've put together, the aromatic science, you know, dot com um, piece of it where they can go and take a look at, you know, some of the clinical tests and studies and, um, just being able to provide them with everything that they need to feel really satisfied. And then the, uh, the, 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 the fact that we're in hospitals across the country <laughs> helps, you know, the situation as well. And so people really validate the quality and potency. And then once they take it home and use it on their families, wow, you know, they're all in. They really are. It's just a matter of reaching out to them and touching them in their heart first. Remember, they're healers. And, and they want to know that they're going to make a difference. They're, they're going to have an effect on the clients that they're open the, opening this door to. And, um, you know, and that's what we do. We actually provide them comfort. We, we provide them a, a level of comfort to be able to come in at however, you know, maybe, maybe they just want to start off with maybe stress management or something simple, you know. So we don't push it beyond what they're ready for. And as they're ready to increase and, and go deeper and be able to touch their clients in more ways, you know, then we add in, we add in and until they're ready to really go full on with everything. So it's, it's, it's a, it's a process. Yeah. Um, we do it in stages mm -hmm. and um, each health entrepreneur is a little bit different. So really depending on what it is that they want, but at the end of the day, it's just them using it at home on their family, just like you do with your kids yeah. and all, with our kids and our dogs yeah. and, you know, and, and having them have that comfort level and, and moving forward from there. Yeah. 
It's just like dealing with anybody else. It really yeah, well, is. I was going to say my question, you know, that you kind of answered was, how do you get, uh, you know, a health professional, a uh, health entrepreneur to a place where they're, you, they feel comfortable sharing, right? And, and the answer is, you know, well, start with yourself, right? right? Speak from this authentic place. Yeah. And I think that regardless, as, as I know, we've worked with, you know, massage therapists and health coaches and, you know, people in all of those different types of industries, a lot of times, some of them are really attracted to the business. And our first comment is, well, you need to start with you, right? Like learn, gain some authentic experience for yourself, gain that to a place where you could share it regardless of whether, you know, it was a, you were getting compensated, whether you weren't getting compensated. And that's the thing I think is interesting is that uh, probably medical doctors more so than, uh, you know, people in as health coaches or medical doctors are used to referring and saying, hey, go get this or go get that. Um, and so when you plug in something like doTERRA and they can say, hey, let's try this or let's try that, um, you know, it presents them with an additional tool. What's interesting on the flip side of things, though, with like a yoga teacher, a massage therapist, a lot of times I hear health coaches say, well, you know, I just don't know if I could sell these to my clients. And, and that statement is always really revealing, right? Mm -hmm. If that thought process is, oh, I don't know if I could sell these, then obviously, one, they need to be able to experience them for themselves so that they can share them authentically because then it's not going to feel like they're selling anything. They're going to be, they're going to, they're going to come from this place of service rather than selling, which, which is huge. But the other thing I think is so funny is you see so many health coaches, you know, that are putting together these, you know, 30, 60 and 90 day game plans for their clients. And they're telling them to go to like a Whole Foods or they're referring them to like this or that or the other and they're getting no compensation for it, right? And, and you're just thinking to yourself like, oh my goodness, do you not realize that there is actually 30, 60 and 90 day game plans that you would fall in love with that would deliver better results and not only will you earn an income, but your, your customers, your, your clients will thank you, right? Because they're getting better results. And I just look at that and I'm like, you know, how do we bring that message to more of them on a wide scale, right? Go ahead, yeah. It, it, again, and I hate to beat a dead horse here, but it strikes me as the same thing. You know, 99% of people in doTERRA have never owned a business before. 99% of health coaches and massage therapists never owned a business before. Right. Like you got, I mean, people have to realize that, that they have zero business education. They might have gone to IIN, they might have done, you know, whatever they did, whatever they did, certifications, licensing, whatever. Most of that was not spent on business, if any. So right. very, very little of their education was spent on being a good business person. So, but they've got this weird disconnection. They think they can have people pay them for their knowledge, but they don't think they can have people pay them for their knowledge of products. Right, and right. It's this weird, dis and, and we fix it every time. That, that's a very quick, and it's funny, it's funny you say that because it's literally a conversation we have every time. So we fix it quick. You know, if you feel confident in your knowledge to the point where you're willing to charge $50 an hour for it, why would you feel any different when you have a product that you have testing on and you have doctors prescribing it right now that you don't feel like you can give that to your patients as well? Like, and, and it's the weird little epiphany moment takes a second, but then they get it and they shift quickly. So yeah. that's the thing with these folks, because they're so gung-ho to help people, they make that shift much quicker than most moms do. And again, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to pigeonhole, but, you know, moms think family first, friends second, the rest of the world third. You know, your massage therapist thinks of the world first, their little group second, themselves third. So yeah. you want to find, you know, you want, it's the same bridge to gap, it's just a couple more steps to do it with one person or the other, but it's the same thing. Yeah. I also feel like when they come from a point of being an educator, because that's what they are, right? So when we, when we um, break it down into you're not really selling, you're educating people out and, and offering them an alternative lifestyle choice for themselves. And because you've had great success with it in your own household, it comes from the place of your heart. And so now when you're educating from your heart and you're educating bias to all the research and everything that's been done, you're now an educator. When we break it down into, we're not, you know, instead of looking at it as sales, it's just you're giving them another option, another tool, another vehicle for them to be able to take care of their families from home through the education that you're passing along to them because of your awareness. 
And, 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 and that, you know, I feel like when we break it down into that for them, it really resonates. Um, you know, they, they like to teach. Yeah. That's what they do. And so um, from that perspective, I think people take it in to their heart a little bit differently. So when they're talking to their clients, they're talking from that teacher or educator point of view. Yeah, no, I love that. And the other piece of, of that is, you know, sometimes I hear <clears throat> people say, well, oh, you know, they use the, we hear the network marketing word and, and all of us have had some experience where there's some sort of preconceived notion about what it is or what it's not. The one thing that I love about, you know, we, we like to kind of use the term authentic network marketing is, you know, I, I think it's important to really have criteria by which you judge a product or a company. And I always say, you know, obviously it, uh, the product or company that you work with, and this is the reason why we align ourselves with doTERRA, the integrity has got to be through everything from product to ownership, to sourcing, to quality. Then secondly, it has to deliver incredible results for your clients, for yourself, for your family, like in the moments that you need it. And then the other really big thing, in my opinion, is it has to serve a really big need, right? I mean, from everything from emotional to physical stuff, you know, from pets to cooking to non-toxic cleaning to, I mean, and, and not just, you know, moms, it's health entrepreneurs, it's, it's you know, it's, it's everyone, personal trainers. So this is why for me, doTERRA is such a tremendous opportunity, tremendous blessing. But the last piece of it that to me is the part that I don't think maybe I realize, and you guys can speak to this as well, is your ability to impact people, right? I, I don't know any other business, and both of us have been entrepreneurs before. I have never been exposed to another business where you can imp impact the number of people we get to impact um, all over the world in the same fashion that we do. I mean, I, I just think, for example, you know, Angie, who is in New York, right, on your guys's, on your guys's yes. team, who's a health coach, an amazing woman. Um, you know, she comes into our lives. We didn't know her before. None of us did. We get to learn all of her talents. And all of a sudden, Angie is taking that same education and empowering people, you know, in a, in a totally different part of the world, right? Or people in Singapore or Gemma, you know, Jenkins, who is in the UK. And all of a sudden, this, this impact that you have is so huge. And, and I think deep inside of, of health entrepreneurs, and I guess all of us as human beings, is we want to leave our mark. You know, like we want to know that we came to earth and we made an impact on people. And I just don't know of another vehicle and product that I have seen that has allowed health entrepreneurs to do it like doTERRA has. And maybe you guys, I don't know, speak to that point or what you guys have seen in your own lives or the lives of the health entrepreneurs you've worked with. No, it's true, Kyle. And I feel like what I can add to that is every time we pass this vehicle over to a medical professional, no matter who they are or what it is that they do, that one person that we touch, we know is going to impact thousands of lives because they have that network of people that are already coming to them to feel good. They want to have that healing happen, right? And so um, I feel like even at a deeper level, I mean, mom to mom is a beautiful thing. And one mom touches another mom and, and, and it, you know, just keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. And, you know, I'll have to add this and maybe I hope it's not too lengthy, but I, I you know, I go to this meditation process and I think, you know, Every time I share a bottle of oil, I go back to, you know, the land of the farmer that grew that oil and how many people it employed to be able to create that one bottle of oil and, and the families that it's feeding and touching, you know, from that retrospect. And then, you know, sharing it forward and moving forward from there, that person that I shared it with and how many people that it's impacted moving forward. And it's just going to continue on for eternity because, Let's face it, I mean, our customers come aboard with us and because the quality and potency is where it's at, because they feel better, because they feel a difference in their house holds, you know, that they just keep sharing very passionately from home to home. And when we use a medical professional's facility in their network, now you're touching their thousands of clients at, 
at really at a very much higher pace more quickly. And, and, and that's just snowballing in all directions, right down from the mm -hmm. farmer and the families that that's helping all the way forward to that doctor's touch and that medical professional's touch and every family that's going to be touched moving forward. So I love, I, I, I love that difference that we're making in the world. I love that that piece of it is what keeps my heart pumping and going in the right direction and wanting to touch as many people as possible moving forward. Yeah, I love it. Being a business guy coming from an entrepreneurial black background, it seemed like kind of a no-brainer exactly what she said. You know, for us, you think about it, you, you know, you teach a home, and I'm believing you guys know I'm not bashing home classes or one-on-ones or anything like that, but you know, you, you teach one person, they might touch a couple friends. You teach a doctor, they might treat a thousand families. And we thought about that right from day one. Like that was, you know, so we were you know, and I'm sure we've talked about this before, we're kind of anomalous in that, you know, we didn't come out of the gate, you know, signing up our friends and family. We didn't do all that kind of stuff. We went after medical professionals from day one because that was our background, because we were postured and we felt confident in the ability of ourselves to convey that this product was the right thing for doctors to use. So once we were up on our product knowledge and we really felt confident, we started talking to doctors because we knew that we could have a much bigger impact, much faster, both from, a, you know, helping the world get better, place and also to grow our business much faster and that's what happened i mean she got us to diamond in nine months yeah craziness you know i mean but you know and that was in you know one of the big telling things was diamond club going to doctor's offices and i'm wagging my finger to everybody um <laughs> you know during diamond club i mean she she got to the point where she was fourth in diamond club i mean you guys know like 400 people are in diamond club she was fourth yeah and and it was because she did that because she spent her diamond club traveling to doctor's offices. I mean, we had one doctor that turned silver in two days. Yeah. You show me a home party that's going to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and again, I'm coming from a purely business background right now, but you know, to have that capacity available to you for doTERRA to pay for half your ticket to fly across the country to turn a doctor silver in two days. Yeah. Like bring it on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and, I think, and I think what we're hearing is your guys' strengths. Right. One of the things that I think is so amazing about this journey and this vehicle is that we get to lean into our strengths. So, you know, if you're watching this and, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we have a few different types of people that will watch this. We're going to have maybe health professionals, doctors that are like, yes, yes, I, I love what you guys are saying. That's what I want. That's the kind of support I want. Then you're going to have other people who maybe, um, maybe like me, don't have the same knowledge base or confidence that you guys do. And I, you know, I think the answer to you, those of you who are like that is, is, hey, lean into your strengths. What we're seeing is, this is a strength of Melford and Conchetta's. They've really leaned into that strength. All of us have amazing strengths, no matter what your background is. And this is a kind of an inside look into the passion, the purpose that has, has come from them and how they're using that strength. Um, one thing that I would say in kind of finishing this up is I know, you know, starting kind of how we finished it, health professionals, health entrepreneurs, they're healers at their heart. And there is nothing worse for a healer than to have somebody come into their office or come into their business or if you do your business online or whatever it is and have a client come to you that you can't help right? Or, or at least it should be, right? At least that's the way that our healthcare system should work. You should want to have a tool or the ability to serve every single person. And, and maybe there's going to be some that you have a hard time with. But what I love is this simply magnifies your ability to serve people, even the people that maybe you couldn't touch or reach before, in a way that allows you to do it and then keeps doing it. This is what's so amazing. It keeps magnifying your influence even when you are not present, right? Which is something, you know, we call hauling buckets versus building pipelines, you know, filling up your buckets every day as you go to work and, you know, versus building a pipeline, something that is gonna continue to provide you with income regardless of whether or not you're there. And so I just, I love that aspect of it. I wish that more health entrepreneurs would really grasp what can happen in their lives when they build up a business and an income that aligns with who they are, that serves and delivers amazing results. And then guess what? It delivers time freedom. So now they can go out there and they can have a bigger impact influencing other people to do the same. 
like I don't know about you guys, but I hear people all the time, especially yoga teachers and health coaches, talk about how they want to they want to put on like a retreat in Costa Rica and like they just this this idea of creating a healing center or whatever it is. Well, guess what? Those things cost money. <laughs> and the, the the beautiful thing is with doTERRA, you build this income in this influence and impact that allows you to go do stuff like that. You know, I mean, on our team, we've been able to go to Guatemala with big groups of people. I know you guys have huge plans to, to give back and to serve as well. But I just, you know, I feel like more health entrepreneurs need more wealth and abundance in their hands because they're the ones that are going to make the impact. They're the ones that really change things. Anyway. Kind of got on a soapbox there for a second. No, but. it's so true. It's so true, Kyle. And every personality is different. I mean, and, yeah. and find, like you said, their strengths and their niches, the things that really touch them in their heart. And when they speak from that point of view, no matter what yeah. that is, because it's different for everybody, <laughs> wow, watch out. Like the impact and, and how they can change not only their clients' lives, but like you said, you know, maybe making this a vehicle for their bigger vision. Yeah. of what it is that they want to create. Maybe they have a charity or a special thing that they want to be able to, to spend more time with or donate money to. Or um, Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's unstoppable. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to say. It. There's so much that can happen. There's so much possibility with it. Yeah. Health professionals now are, are really starting to take over the doctor role. And I don't care what letters you have before your name or what letters you have after your name. People, and especially, it's funny, we were talking to Gemma about this just the other day, about the difficulty she has seeing a doctor, you know, because their their medical system and whatnot, you know, so there's there's countries where there's a real serious issue being able to get in and actually see a medical doctor. So you're going to have to go to, you know, a massage therapist to get a muscle cramp taken care of. You're going to have to go to an acupuncturist. You're going to have to go to some of these outside the normal parameter uh, medical treatment centers. Same thing in America. You know, people over here, obviously, we have a different health care plan, so we can choose to go whom, to whomever we want. But what is that health care plan? We're trying, yeah. <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure that out. <laughs> we, we do have a different one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Florida plan. <laughs> You know, so people are, you know, people are trying to not go to the doctor anymore, even here, even where you can go to any specialist you want, all that other kind of stuff. You know, people want to have a different way of treating themselves. So to speak to your point, if we don't educate these folks, they're missing the boat, A, in the, be able to, in the ability to treat this huge number of people that are going to start converting to natural medicine, and B, they're losing out on their business because somebody else is going to do it. And yeah. we tell people that very specifically, yeah. you know, Okay, you're not ready, that's fine, but I guarantee your customer or your, um, your competitor is. You yeah. know, somebody in this town is already doing this, and you guys know if this, you know, if X number of people are coming out of IAN every six months, if X number of people are coming out of college every, you know, four years, there is a massive quantity of people coming out who all learn the same exact thing. Right. They don't have any marketing skills. They don't know how to run a business. So they have no idea how to take that little ball of knowledge and differentiate themselves from everybody else out there that has the same letters after their name. It's, it's so we're, true. We're it. We're the, yeah. and, we're, and again, it, it's a posture thing, but we tell people point blank, doTERRA is it. You want to you learn how to separate yourself from the rest of the crowd? How about hopping on an essential oil company that's in hospitals? How's that work? And then you stop talking and look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You know what? Kind of like Nobody says that like Mel can say that. <laughs> but but I, I, I love that. And, uh, you know, I think that there is a bigger group of health entrepreneurs, medical professionals right now that are recognizing, you know, not everyone. I mean, we have, uh, we would all agree. We have an, a medical, we have amazing miracle working <clears throat> doctors, right? I have five boys. I wouldn't probably have all five of those boys without some incredible medical doctors. I also know, um, you know, doctors that I've met with who have been from kind of this old school of prescribing pain meds who have come to this point where they realize, well, one, not only is this not great for my patient, secondly, I want to I change. I want to be part of something different. I want to be at the forefront of what's happening next to really serve my patients. And they're looking, they're asking those questions. And I think more of us are asking those questions. And so anyway, uh, we could go on for a long, long time about this. I guess I, I kind of want to finish up with, you know, if, if you are a health professional, if you are a health entrepreneur, you know, uh, personal trainer, 
yoga teacher, you know, doctor, chiropractor, and you have been kind of like on the fence, like, well, you know, I've heard about doTERRA, patients have come to me, take the time to really, you know, talk to the person that you know that's closest to you in your area, um, or if that's no one, talk to us. But take the time to get to understand how you can take your vision and goals and how doTERRA can help you magnify them and serve your clients, help you leave a, a medical or a medical legacy um, and really impact people at a larger scale. I, you know, when you get to the end of your career, you will have remembered how many times you said, I don't have time for that, right? <laughs> and, and so you can say that, but if that's making it so that you pass by opportunities that are going to impact your life, your family's life and the lives of your patients, then you're missing out. Like, yeah. I don't have time for that. It's not a good enough excuse to say, yeah. hey, I don't have time to take a look at something that is really be open to something that could possibly give me everything that I've been looking for and maybe a lot of the things that have been missing. Anyway. Yeah. The one thing I want to add, Kyle, is um, a lot of times when I leave a medical professional, and maybe it's not perfectly time for them right then and there, I just say, you know, if you haven't heard of it, you will hear of it. It's here. It's all around you. Your clients are going to come in and they're going to speak to you upon this very subject. Yeah. And so I want to leave you with some, you know, information and my contacts so that when that starts to happen more often, because it will, yeah. um, I would love to be able to come back and revisit this conversation with you. And I do want to leave off that we love working with the medical community of all facets. We're not anti-doctor. We're not anti-conventional. We're I love that Eastern and Western medicines are merging and the minds are meeting in the middle and we're really looking to provide the best health for the client. And, and I love that that's, that's what's unfolding even with our regular MDs and, and pediatricians and um, psychologists and therapists and all kinds of different doctors that are coming aboard. Um, it's just so rewarding to be able to be a part of that and to have doTERRA be a part of that healing element. And so I just wanted to, I wanted to just say, you know, we're not anti-doctor, we're not anti, this is what we love. We love working with the medical community and, and, and making that match up. And where there's a time and place, a time and place for both and where well, we, we can actually. Yeah. We, we need them. Yes. Right? Yep. Like we, we need them. We're, we're, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a call to step forward yes. and to, to participate in something that's, that's changing things. So I love it. I love that. Yeah. Um, Melford, if, if you, if you have anything else, please, you know, feel free to speak up, go ahead or we'll finish. Yeah, up. Just, just one quick last thing, guys. It, again, it's there, there is no secret. The secret is putting in the time, having the conversations. You might have to stop back two or three times. It might take a few phone calls. You know, it's, it always is just opening the door, make sure they're open to hear something, walking in with the posture, the knowledge that you know you're going to provide that doctor's patients with something that doctor cannot give them right now. That yeah. posture is everything. People always want to know, how do you guys walk in? I'm so nervous. Don't be ner You know more about essential oils than that doctor probably does. Nine times out of 10, if you've done your due diligence and you've done your homework, do not walk in day one. Don't do it to any of us. <laughs> Don't mess any of us up by walking in there and messing up your first doctor's appointment. But once you do your due diligence, find out what kind of doctor they are. Find out the kind of patients they get. Do your leg work first. And again, it doesn't matter if it's a doctor, a massage therapist, a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, a, a health coach, a personal trainer. Somewhere out there, there's information about that human being that you can find out before you talk to them. If you find out that information, you just cut probably two or three meetings off of you getting that enrollment. If you yeah. don't do your homework, you are just going to keep asking questions that they don't want to hear about because you didn't do your homework. So right. walk in with posture, do your homework, and make sure you've got systems in place. Do not walk in and say, okay, we'll make it work. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You, believe me, they're not worried. <laughs> You're never going to see them again. <laughs> so, yeah. Have posture, do your homework, have your systems in place. That's it. Yeah. But again, it's the same thing with anybody else. Same yeah. thing with mom sitting around a table or the head surgeon at, you know, John Hopkins. Right. Well, and, and, and I love that we have some great tools. Um, if you don't already use the, the new live guide, you absolutely should. It has, a, you know, body system by body system type of stuff. If you haven't started watching the empowered living series, 
you, I mean, doctors themselves are giving those presentations, you know, from uh, source to you.com. I mean, there's just all of it's there. So like you said, I, I love the confidence that you guys both use. If you, if you're not really interested now, at some point you will be, if you don't hear about it now, at some point you will, that's kind of the place that we're at in doTERRA, right? Is that it's, it's moving at that pace, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and so you can choose to kind of be at the, at that pace or kind of, you know, chase it. So anyway, thank you guys so much. I know we had a few technical problems, but that's kind of par for the course. This message is too important. You guys are, are amazing and super gracious for being on here with us. And Hope those of you guys watching found value and can feel some confidence come through this Zoom, hopefully, um, and really know that there are people, um, health professionals, that want to be a part of that same message that, that you have to share with them. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, buddy. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.